earlier you did mention AI, you know, yes. um, from security point of view, let's look at it from both perspective, leveraging LLMs and Gen AI for security, at the same time securing some of those workload which are leveraging them. Those are uh, obviously, you know, uh, both points that the entire industry, including ourselves, are constantly, you know, analyzing and understanding how to deploy it uh, for, for use. So from an LLM perspective, uh, and also the Gen AI perspective, you know, those are great for helping us uh, work with, de instruct developers on how to remediate most effectively, right? Because they could do they could do the analysis very quickly, understands the language that you're using, and you can walk a developer through it. So those are invaluable to us. The other part that LLM is a, and is important for us is it provides a natural language interface. So now you can actually interface with our tool ask questions in normal English and get the responses you need, which is incredibly powerful. Now it enables you to access the rich information that we have. Now, you mentioned on the flip side, right? So what are the risks and how do we uh, identify and manage those risks? So at, at the initial levels, what we're able to do is there, there, there's a whole concept of the AI bomb or AI S-bombs. And we are working with a couple of our uh, early customers with regard to developing this AI bomb with the same uh, intentions of identifying risks. So just like any other software, AI software has, uh, you know, predominantly made up of open source, open source components and similar risks. So identifying those risks. The other risk is also of data and data lineage and being able to attest to the integrity of the data in AI that's being used. A much harder problem, something that I can't say you know we've solved not at all, but it is something we're actively working towards and identifying those risks.